everyone. So like you said, I'm Emily Sweeney. And if you've read anything about um, my time in sport or seen anything, it is has been a true sense of like what the word journey means. <laughs> I've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows. And um, it's just been figuring out how to navigate all of that, really, and trying to be the best that we can be. We're in a sport that's timed to the thousandth of a second. So you really have to look at yourself in a way that, I don't know, it gets set, it gets set into a small, a small amount of time. So I've been really just trying to be better every day. And I feel great outside of training. So we're, I have to see how my body reacts once we're, once I'm on the sled more, but I feel like I'm in a good place. I've had a lot of great training this summer and I will say, I agree with what Chris said. Um, adversity is a great motivator and you really just, <laughs> just have to figure it out. I have enough confidence now with all the curveballs that have been thrown my way or with my injuries that I'm going to create, I have a good plan, but it's probably not going to go as planned, but I'll figure it out. I would just say, I haven't really spoken to a lot of the luge athletes that have been down it, but getting some feedback from the bobsledders, a lot of them have been saying that they're having a lot of fun, which is really refreshing. And there's so much pressure put on to learning the, the Olympic track, especially for those of us that this is, we're seeing it for the first time Olympic year. And that is, that's really stressful. But I've more often than not, I've just heard them say that they're having a lot of fun sliding. So I'm excited to get there and to find the rhythm of the track, like Chris said, and and just have fun with it. Um, I remember all of it. There was a moment there where I kind of blacked out after, at the, after I stopped moving. But I remember it all. Um, it was honestly your body is in, is the body is an amazing thing and it slowed down. So it looked much more intense for the, uh, the viewer than what it felt as I was going through it because your body just slows everything down. And I knew once I hit the top of the track, I knew that I was going to hit the bottom. So I had to curl my head up and that saved, that saved me. Um, probably I, I was able to walk away. And, um, after that, I realized that I did break my neck and my back and, it was incredibly challenging. It's the most challenging thing I've ever had to go through. Um, but, and getting back on the, on the track was also, it was big because I had never been afraid of luge before. It's a common question that we get is, are you ever afraid? Or is, is it a scary thing? And, and I, I could always answer honestly, no, but after having such a brutal crash and having, um, I'd never been knocked that low before by anything in life. And so putting yourself in a situation where it's possible that that could happen again is a challenging thing because you're very vulnerable and you understand how vulnerable you are, but I had to do it. I, I felt like there was still more I wanted to do in the sport. And I just, you just have to kind of push yourself off literally and and try and then every time it gets a little bit easier and then but it's not a linear thing it's not a start here and just and just go straight up to the top and life is good again there's been a lot of a lot of highs and lows along the way um yeah honestly anyone can answer this too because there it is you don't have to break yourself to that extent to have to learn those skills. But for me, it was very important to me to start the season with my team. Um, I was at such a low point that summer and with everything that I, I needed the people around me because I didn't want, I didn't believe in myself anymore. And two, I didn't, I didn't really have a picture of where I wanted to go with it anymore. And so I didn't skip time off the ice, which was kind of crazy looking back at it because physically I wasn't ready for that. But mentally, I knew that I needed to be around my team. So having I went to Lillehammer with these guys, with Chris and Jason, and being in that environment, it being in a, in a motivating environment was what I needed at that time. Yeah, I was one of the people that it, it, I don't know, it was a very isolating year and a half, however it feels like forever for now, uh, right now. But um, yeah, it was, it was really isolating and you lost a lot of control. So I felt pretty powerless through a lot of things because 
Um, I, well, I, I've also in a long-term long distance relationship and I couldn't see my boyfriend for gosh, 11 months. And that was really challenging. He's, he slides for Italy. So, um, due to travel restrictions and then I'm also in the army. And so when these guys went back on tour, I was struggling to get authorization and clearance to, to go compete because I had more people who were responsible for me. And it's a, it's not a natural thing to authorize travel during a worldwide pandemic. So there were a lot of (laughs) different challenges last year. And, um, I think it prepared us all for what this year is going to look like because we're looking at Beijing and we don't know what's what it's going to look like. We know our families won't be able to go. We don't really know what all the COVID protocols are going to be yet. And um, after going through last year, I feel like 